hello friends welcome to this tutorial and today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to analyze structures using Orion software so in today's tutorial I'm going to go to run this is a two this is a two 2d and 3d windows that I'm opening so I'm going to go back to uh, plan view so if you've not watched our previous video you can go ahead watch our previous video on how we do that and inserted all this particular reinforcement so we're going to be running an analysis on our slab which is our first floor so I'm going to go to run so I'm going to go to building analysis I'm going to go to analysis tab on this dialog box that has popped up all these we have done in our previous video please do watch our previous video on this channel and subscribe so i'm going to go to analysis tab now on this analysis tab i have the model you can check your building building model check you can check the building for errors now i have this building analysis and design so we have to analyze before you can design so i have to do run the building analysis now this is the code that is being used so i'm using bs8810 1997 so this is the bs code that i'm using in your particular countries you can also check for the code that is being used and use the appropriate code for your country also so i have analysis and i have analyze date but i have not done the analysis so that's why there's no analyze date now we have an x so if you've not done the analysis you have an x here which is a red x showing that yes analysis has not been done on this particular structure so i have to come down to this particular part here so i have a column stroke wall reinforcement design so i have a checkbox there so i'm going to check say yes design my column and wall reinforcement so my beam so i'm going to say yes i want it to be designed so you have to check this box so that the software can be able to do the analysis and also the design so now i have to come to this particular part who said reselect steel bars so if you want the software to run the analysis and reselect the steel bars for design you have to check this particular box so yes i say i want to check i want you to reselect if the bar size i have selected did not match or satisfy this re this beam or column reinforcement so reselect the bar size and the number of bars so i'm going to check this okay even for the beam you can also reselect it now the software will be able to run the analysis of my selected particular reinforcement diameters and is going to check if that particular reinforcement i've selected did not satisfy the re maybe the deflections and all of that did not satisfy because i'm going to check then he's going to reselect uh, another bar size for me so this is my start button so if i click on the start analysis begins so i'm going to run the analysis so i'm going to click on this start that has a play sign on it so i'm going to click it so analysis has begun so building analysis so it's running the analysis all these the analysis now it's going to check story by story column by column so there's a column reinforcement design it's very pretty fast so it's reselecting the stereo button it's reselecting all the beam all the bars so it's reselecting them to see the one that will satisfy every design requirement so it's selecting so that's done building analysis completed successfully that's really good so I'm going to check and see what has been done now you see they calculating the beam load beam load was calculated in 0 
62 seconds that's pretty fast so uh, software are good so this it has done that now it has calculated everything to the building data preparation and everything all the time look at it was completed successfully you know everything was completed so i'm going to try and check and see if all was done okay yes design is completed and this is completed all the okay so i'm going to say okay so i make that goes away now this my building analysis that we've done with that we were here before this was uh, initially mark x now it's becoming good so the analysis was completed successfully so that's why it's good now so we have the analyzed date now there is a date and there is a time that this was analyzed so we are good so we have done and run our analysis successfully now we're going to go to the next stage which is going to be design so we're going to go to post analysis so i'm going to click on this tab so i'm going to go to post analysis click on that tab to go to post analysis now we have the model analysis display that i'm going to come down to columns i'm going to see what was designed on this my particular columns and beams so i'm going to do for column and click on that i'm going to expand that a little bit so these are all the columns in my structures so all is mixed together we have the story one column one this is story two column one so is taking each particular column at a time in the design and analysis so i'm going to say um i want to see all this story one columns here so i'm going to go to filter so i'm going to click on filter so element filters i'm going to come to check this box here filter by stories i want you to filter by stories you can filter by members you can filter by anything you want to you can just check that but i like filtering by stories i want to see only my column one column one here i want to see only my story one columns here so i'm going to go to this my zero one which is my story one so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to press on this button okay now it is filtered now you can see i have ones at the beginning and the column numbers appropriately so i'm going to scroll down so we have 28 columns on this particular structure so the structure is quite big so i'm going to come to this column one here so i'm going to look at the particular things that i'm going to check in for so this is b1 so this is the breadth of my column and the width of my column is 225 this is story one it's written here this is a column so i have this initial one that is written here signifies story one and this is c1 which is column one so it applies to orders so at uh, this one we have column one story one column 17 and all of that so i have the design now this is checked good because it passes the design design is satisfactory so the analysis and everything was okay so the bar size was well, selected now it's fine so we're going to tick it green now it's printable that's why this button is checked so i have the steel bars so i have four by one t16 so this implies that it has four of these 16 bars in one column so this is the link is placed at 75 intervals so on the particular column so it's placed at 75 intervals and the column which is t10 so but i want to see more of this particular column so if you see if i click on this it becomes blue so i'm going to click on column one then i'm going to double click on it now this box download box pops up now this is a detail of my column that i have so this is the section of the column here now this red 
this red line here is my link and these circles are my reinforcement which is my bar, bar size of 16 that I've selected and this is the 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 link bar that I have so from this place to here is my concrete cover which I've selected to be 25 and this is my concrete section of 250 by 250 two sorry which is 225 by 225 millimeters so now let me come to this section here you can make the dimensions and now you can see we have 225 by 225 millimeters this is eccentricity and all of that so we have the concrete cover to be 25 you can update it for server you can just click on it if you want to change this particular column just click on the type of figure then you update it and you run the analysis again to be able to tell the structure yes i've made some changes so i wanted to also make such changes to my particular structure now the analysis and design so the as required was 50 but the AS supplied this is quite a difference so I think this is really okay for me so if you want to change it you can also uh, go ahead and change it so I'm going to say I'm fine with that I'm go okay with that uh, let me just click on cancel or you said okay so I'm fine with it so now you're going to do that check for each of this particular columns so i'm going to go to column two so i'm going to click on it double click on it this pops up this windows pops up so i'm going to double click again so it becomes more magnified here so we're going to take a look good look at it and see if all is fine so i'm going to say i like it like that so i'm going to say okay to go so i'm going to turn this particular uh, dollar box I'm going to turn this window I'm going to come to this place and turn it off now you can do some other settings also so I'm going to turn it off and say okay I don't want it anymore so I'm going to turn that off so I'm going to go to my beams click on my beams now this is my particular beams now you can see I have some X some red X on this my beam it means this beam is not satisfying the design so i'm going to do that manually and i'm going to show you so i'm still going to go back to my filter so i'm going to say filter by story i want story one and i'm going to say okay so this is all my story one beams that i have so i have a lot of beams here that did not satisfy my design so i'm going to do that manually and ask the software to also check for me so i'm going to go to it so i'm going to double click on it i'm going to double click on the beam to have this dialog box here pops up so i'm going to say this is the typical section of the beam this is a detail of the beam so i have 225 which is my column and this is the particular span for this one so i have the breeds and all of that so this is my section this is the the height at which this beam is so now i have top bars here so the top bars i have 2t16 which is two of the bars at the top 16 diameter at the top so on this pan too so another the last so this particular joint here i have 216 also top and also all of that so this is it so this is my link bar that is there so these are the as minimum at the top and the bottom and all of that so this is a deflection shake this is okay this is okay also if it's not okay you will see this structure the software is smart enough to be able to display that for you so i'm going to say okay so i'm going to go to this one that has a red x on it so i'm going to double click on it let's find out what is the particular problem so we have a problem here 
so at this particular joint here so we have a problem so I can say okay let me increase this to 3 make this to become 3 bars I can make this to be 3 bars also and I'm going to say okay now you can see it becomes green now a green check mark has occurred so the number of bars which was 2 did not satisfy the design so I'm going to go to this one also so I can see so you can just move for this other particular bars just just try a little thing and just make sure all of it is okay so I'm going to go over so I'm going to close this particular window so I'm going to close it when you're done you're going to close it and you're going to close this particular you're going to close that and that is it guys for how to run your building analysis on Orion structures give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also join us for our next tutorial for our next tutorial we are going to be talking about how to export export Orion drawing the details to AutoCAD see you in our next tutorial